Welcome everyone to another live stream. You've seen the previous tinkering here, upgrading to the very last IBM 970MP power PC, 2.5 gigabyte uh, gigahertz, and we certainly need to calibrate this because it might or should most likely put out some more thermal design power. So I found here our old professional not Apple authorized service provider backups from our amazing professional Apple Mac stuff business. And the funny thing is this is old fashioned optical media stuff for the younger ones among you. Maybe don't even quite remember, but even for me, um, somehow it was, it's, it's totally strange. Somehow they want this burned on the DVD. Um, although this is only 350 megabyte and um, Mac OS disk utility wouldn't burn it, so I took out the DVD. What I wanted to say is it's so strange, You this plus minus R, W, or RAM stuff with DVD are always really total gambling here. If it boots or not, if it, yeah, if it is readable, it's totally annoying with this five, six, seven different DVD variants. So we have here our super professional screen capture that may or may not be stretched. But anyway, so yeah, also this is certainly showing here you know, all my test install. Let's, uh, where is even, I hope we, oh, there's the mouse cursor. Amazing stuff. So barely readable from here, but I guess it's that one. Let's see, actually this is slightly, but actually I could move it over here to my main screen. So I've never done this before. Yeah, if you don't have a trustworthy Apple service provider next to you, then you probably find some of them on some corners of the internet. For legal reasons, I probably can't really help you much with that. Hmm, not really sure how the aspect ratio... Hmm, actually, maybe it is correct. Anyway, yeah, fans. You probably hear it, they go into hyperventilation mode, but that is of the normal, especially so on these machines. I think the OS driver controls the fans on Linux that is wind farm. And even on Grub or Yaboot, if you run a bootloader for a long time, then the fans also spin up after 30 or 60 seconds. And uh, yeah, nice fan noise, obviously. So let's see what we got here. So thermal calibration already see. So not all not all Macs have this thermal calibration stuff. That is only some of those. By the way, can also maybe more amazing stuff like that. Let's see what we got here. If someone of you knows what UI stuff they used, if they reuse stuff of system seven, eight, nine stuff, certainly looks like that. But not sure. We could also run tests, but maybe first thermal calibrate this. So I'm not an Apple authorized service provider, super expert. So let's just click here, initiate, press quit to return to diagnostic or calibrate utility button to initiate, yeah, calibrate. Starting calibration CPU zero. Yeah, so I have no idea. So uh, first time here live together and Could also move it over. Let me. Too many. Buttons. Or does it? Did we lose mouse? Or hmm, not sure if it crashed or is it is normal that it doesn't up? Oh no, it just updates super slowly. I guess. Yeah. No idea what the result is. We do it till life together. I was not an Apple authorized uh, thermal calibration genius, so no idea what is normal here. Well, certainly it, it's it's an unsupported skew here. Uh, Apple never sold it like this. By the way, if you ever think about G5 quad air cooling and applying liquid metal on it, no, I've not thought about this. So this is my only G5 I have, and uh, as you have seen on my three or four previous videos with the G5. Apple unfortunately didn't populate the CPU socket. Wait, 
starting calibration this may take 10 to 30 minutes oh this will be a long last okay you better share like and subscribe and join because 10 to 30 minutes just now i realize that it's supposed to take that long yeah uh, so fun, fun fact um, while we wait here for the amazing calibration um, it probably we can't move the window can we <coughs> sorry <coughs> Fun fact, when I got this new, um, I said this before, I brought this new in 2005 or whenever it came out. And um, at that time, so not only, I think there was like zero frame buffer. I think I was probably running it with the open firmware frame buffer, like not, not even the NVIDIA frame buffer. By the way, how many drop, uh, zero frames, amazing stuff. And yeah, this was totally slow stuff, obviously. And, uh, but I didn't matter too much because I used it to compile T2 or Rock Linux at that time. Maybe at that time it was already T2. And so I didn't mind the unaccelerated, like totally super slow, like, like zero accelerated, no, like not even mode setting, like, like nothing, right? The bare naked firm frame buffer, like the firmware left it. And um, coming back to the comments in a second. And the only thing, so honestly, the frame buffer, yeah, I didn't care too much, could lock in with SSH. The really annoying thing is when this was new, there was no fan control. So as soon as some open source bootloader took over, so when you, when you were at the boot prompt of this open firmware, the fan control, the fans would spin like normal. But as soon as you went to Yaboot or nowadays Grub too, but that didn't exist back in the day. Back in the days, this was like 100% Yaboot, I guess. And if you would boot normally, that would, would, wouldn't be an issue. But if you stayed longer than 30 seconds, like say you edited something of your Linux testing and development, or um, you just went for a coffee and didn't auto boot. And after 30 seconds or something, the fans would go into this 100% mode. And the same, so even nowadays, if you stay at the Yaboot or Grub2 prompt, after 30 seconds, the fan go into this maximum hyperventilation mode. And even back in the day when this was new, there was no fan control. Benjamin Herrenschmidt of PowerPC Linux fame has, had not written or reverse engineered it. And even then, when you continued to boot into Linux after maximum of 30 seconds, the fence would kick in and so the unisolated frame buffer I didn't mind that much but um, the fan was totally annoying maybe I even put it into my clothes uh, shelf there and closed the door or something or maybe I was sitting in another room like left it running in the kitchen and was sitting in another room with an ethernet cable or something of that sort so yeah creative solutions I could have of course reverse engineered this but not only didn't, did I not have experience with this kind of fan control stuff and somehow, I don't know how, the PowerPC guys like Benjamin Herrenschmidt, like Ben, ben H, Benjamin Herrenschmidt of IBM and stuff, somehow they always were relatively quickly. I don't know how they have done this if they had like people of, people at the IBM division of cooperating with Apple, uh, giving them specs or they just but probably not. When I, certainly they knew all their CPU and maybe chipset stuff, but for the wind farm fan control stuff, maybe they really reverse engineered this, I don't know. Maybe they just disassembled the um, Mac OS KX, I don't know. Would be interesting. Now, by the way, fun fact, um, growing this channel, by the way, welcome all the new subscribers, amazing stuff. Um, thank you so much for sharing, liking and subscribing. And I really would like to expand this channel also to collaborating with people. So if you do amazing stuff uh, like this FPGA, we will hopefully have some collaboration there with uh, Aston, Piotr Aston. And um, also other people. So if you do open source stuff like Haiku, if you, doesn't matter if you hack on Wine, on Mesa, on the Xox server, on any other stuff like you are some like Ben H um, or any other stuff if totally would be amazing to expand this channel here also to have some coffee and hey our calibration pass for CPU zero amazing stuff it only took how long are we running uh, 10 seconds so it ex took exactly the 10 
minimum announced seconds there. Um, really curious. I hope only it doesn't totally destroy the fan calibration, but because it was running okay-ish, so I don't know if it would overheat. Because certainly, what was the? I think the TDP was probably 10 watts more of the 2.5 gigahertz part. That certainly wasn't a supported SKU configuration anyway. So I only hope it doesn't totally destroy this because it would be annoying if we would boot into Linux and the fans would be annoying. Although I'm not really sure if Linux is using any of those values. Maybe we even do this for nothing because the Linux kernel is controlling the, the wind farm fan control stuff anyway. So maybe it's a total waste of time, but at least you see for all the people in the audience, you see this amazing Apple service diagnostic stuff here. Let's see, comments in the audience. You watched all the nice doing PowerPC map content here. Amazing stuff. Thanks for sharing, uh, liking, subscribing. Popular. Used to be popular in 2017 and everyone started to stop doing that kind of content, unfortunately. Yeah, we will certainly continue with this because we have also, um, fun fact, I was, I was was thinking already to make, wanted to make a photo. Um, it's somehow a little bit like, um, it's, if you uh, now there, at least once I saw a funny Volkswagen, you know, uh, I'm a German here and Volkswagen stuff. Once I saw a, a funny photo, like I'm your father. It's like, like a uh, original Beetle from 1940s fame. And then some new Beetle, the, the, the new Beetle. And it's like, <laughs> I'm your father. It's like a little bit funny. It's a little bit like the father here, right? But um, we will continue, of course, with this not only for the P3 stuff, but also um, the other just keeping T2 maintained. I just like to have this kind of stuff working. And we still have this e AGP mode setting stuff um, to check uh, because there is some kind of bug there on the power PC side. Let me just Google for this. Funny Volkswagen to have a some Volkswagen for the so maybe Google might or might not. Yeah, this is not the photo I meant. I've, anyway, um, do we have? Should have, but maybe I reposted it to. Well, at least I sent it to my father probably. Now I remember correctly. I think I need to remove side panel and quick part, and it still doesn't work. What do we show to the internet? We show that. I have this probably. So where's this? Yeah, when you want, if, when you look for some image, you obviously, probably I might have saved it though. Not that this would be the most matching topic, but whatever. So CPU calibration passed. So apparently, maybe this passed here. Maybe already. How many minutes are we? 40 minutes. So does this mean that this is? Hmm. At least our mouse moves again. So maybe it passed. Do you click. I guess you. I don't know. Well, the thing is, can't not really sure if it's still running something. Um, because I would expect this stuff to, but I think the load is less now because previously I couldn't even barely move the mouse. I would expect here some final, um, like final calibration pass to something. Now this, you see Apple usability, um, not even the totally super most amazing in, in 2005. Of course, now I'm a little bit here. Is it done? Is it not done? It's like I would expect there's some final pass something stuff. Don't quit. It's gonna adjust the test fan curse. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then we. Thanks for that. Um, we certainly have time for people to tune in here anyway. Um, I can. This is what I meant. I would have expected some final, finally done pass something, but. Um, where would this? This was such a classic. Hmm. 
Maybe I reshared it to my Instagram. Ah, here, I found it. Only took five minutes of googling, well, kinda sorta. Yeah, it's apparently Pinterest crap that I'm not really remotely interested in. Crap modern website nonsense. But here's Twitter. Twitter was safe to engage. It's found this rather funny, in my opinion. Maybe you also find it funny. It's a little bit the situation here with the um, with the PS3 and the almighty G5, in my opinion, maybe a little bit. But looking forward to your comments anyway. So yeah, what is it doing? It's, I don't know if it's still doing something, maybe, maybe not. But as long as people are sharing, liking and subscribing, we can also keep it running. Um, by the way, gonna get way louder because the fans gonna max out. I thought, I think some fans are maxed out already, in my opinion. Hey, welcome Ola to Uruguay. Thanks for tuning in, amazing stuff. Uh, leave me in the comments below always why you are here, for what, what you like, what you like to see. I'm not really sure if it's still running. I trust your comments that it's doing something. As I said, I do this the first time here only. Life, what um, actually you need to go to the correct scene here. The, uh, scene here. Yeah, all are there. Uruguay, what language do you speak? Spanish, a little bit. I uh, should probably know that, but we could theoretically Google that. Maybe I need to up my language skills to at least be able to say hello and all. In Chinese, that would be ni hao. In Russian, privet or zdravstvuitsche. Zdravstvuitsche. Something of that sort. Why language Spanish? Yeah, then Ola. Ketal or something. Comesta. Calibre G5 uh, as well, but I lost the ASD image. Yes, yeah, so I just. So I sometimes. Well, this I got from some fellow Apple at Apple. Uh, fellow what? some fellow friend at Apple, but I saw people owning them. I think maybe Lewis Rossman has some link or the web archive of Wayback Machine fame has sometimes some. So yeah, so yes, you're saying, uh, so you're saying it's still doing something, right? But so the fans, since I went, so in the open firmware, the fan were normally, and then when it booted, the ASD, the Apple service diagnostic stuff here, open firmware goodness, then uh, as soon as it was running in the ASD, it was already running the fence maxed out like that. But yeah, I trust you well. Anyway, we can just sit here and chat and probably drink a coffee or yellow water. And yeah, um, Next up, well, next up, not, not really next up, but we have the G4, of course. Um, the thing is, so, the, the YouTube studio, I already consume it too much space in the office, actually, more than we have in our small office. I need to also expand the office here for the YouTube studio fame, because then we could have made here a nice... Um, you probably have seen my G4 cube in the previous videos for 32-bit power PC testing, and then we could theoretically have here a very nice studio setup of G4, PS3 and G5, certainly nice scenery. And the G4 needs, so the G4 was, it's a little bit sad, the G4 was fully working, like including accelerated 3D. With, I have a aftermarket, well, from, a, from another G4, because it's a special Apple power, uh, display port, power distribution. Um, additional header there next to the PCI AGP slot and so I have some Radeon 7500 or something of that sort in there and yeah that needs that was at one time fully working the fun fact I only upgraded so 
the original card was a Rage 128 or something of that sort, and I only upgraded because I wanted fully working Linux to spend and resume. And um, what does what we are calibrating as a inofficial two and a half gigahertz dual core upgrade. So on the D4. Um, we theoretically need, if, if nobody in the meantime fixes this, we can test boot the latest kernel and, well, anyway, it's release season, so we will build, build T2 images for all the architectures, which are many, and then we will test boot this, so the latest kernel and 3D stuff, and for the likely case that nobody else fixes this in the meantime, we still need to fix that X or any isolated X or 3D stuff is locking up sooner than later. And yeah, this is why we also do the low level videos to get into the mindset, get all the knowledge, not only for ourselves, also for you to share this here and, and um, educate. So you have experience, right? You are saying this is still doing something, right? Because I'm not so sure, to be honest. The fans are also not going up and down. I would have expected, actually, I would have expect those buttons there if it's like two, two things from SVR also. I actually, fun fact, I studied not only computer science, but also media design here at the University of Applied Science in Berlin. So not only that I always had some sense for design, but I even have some courses there of uh, real official media design goodness also decade old anyway so speaking from like real usability uh, and design stuff not only would I expect this to really acknowledge that I'm done like this passed fully not not only CPU calibration passed but everything passed and the second thing it looks of course a little bit to me this pop-in button there should pop out again right so I would hope that Apple being the company of design usability it this button should pop out there eventually again, I guess. But again, I've, I've never done this. I never had a reason to do this. Although I knew this ASD certainly from all the professional Apple programming goodness stuff that we accumulated here over the years anyway. Yeah, I will probably, so I've still some you've noticed, not only when we live stream and do fun stuff, I usually have quite some stuff to do. I probably have to stay in the office longer today. Um, and do some administrative stuff also. And maybe I keep working on the D5. I hope this uh, calibrates successfully and then I will probably keep working on this today for a couple of more hours, actually doing some business uh, accounting, tax sorting stuff, what managing directors do between YouTube live streaming and some professional software and support and email writing and fun stuff like that. And uh, also then in the meantime, of course, using this as a remote desktop stuff to some accounting crap, certainly a little bit waste of ele electrons, but I will actually, of course, use them and put those electrons to good use and actually compile some open source T2 stuff, like like being remote desktop locked into some accounting crap and then in the like loading the course 100% with some good trying to compile Firefox or Rust and fun stuff like that, all the test building and maintenance and updating stuff of open source stuff that you see us here. And um, yeah, this is also what I um, really like, like using those machines, not, not only this, but also the P3 and stuff. I Fun fact, I've even done accounting stuff, um, remote desktop stuff, doing scrolling over text papers on the P3 the last quarter, like really using this. Although, of course, modern machines are more energy efficient, but mm -hmm. heck, why not? And honestly, if you, most people, I've even, fun fact, today I did support on a Mac Air, MacBook Air. I actually really hate when some of my customers call this Mac Air. It's actually, no, I, I heard this so often, I really hate when people call this stuff strange. So MacBook Air, of course. And um, this, of course, in really old one, seven years or something, but at us, they, of course, look amazing. Um, most of the, well, mostly. And um, no, 
there is this thing over. Yeah, it's, I don't know, tell me if it's still doing something. And what my point is that um, you could still use those uh, machines like probably for another 10 years, right? Unless you need a 4K display, of course, it's not doing 4K, at least not at 60 Hertz. But if you mostly do remote stuff, right? Like uh, Docker and um, Kubernetes and all the other cloud development stuff, you can probably, if you like work at home or whatever, or in a in, in a coffee or bring your own device or whatever you certainly can even work on a p3 or g5 and log in remotely also yeah again for friday for future and energy efficiency not the greatest here at least the g5 even the p3 would be better for that but un otherwise um i'm also getting a little bit tired of people like the the i people like i justine and stuff like buying seven iPhones and each and every Mac and Surface, even not even I running a successful software company, I don't buy each crap. I've not I've not purchased a new Mac since my Retina MacBook Pro because they're all peak bugs and failing keyboards and other crap. G5 are six machines, but they are what failures in terms of mainstream view to I'm not really sure that how mainstream viewed. I think they were quite successful and the price was fair, right? Um, I think the list price for this was maybe 2,000 euro in 2005. And this is also, even if you calculate for inflation, maybe that makes it 3,000. We could actually um, calculate this here live while we wait. And by the way, if you can you really confirm that this stuff is really doing something? Um, where do I hear? So let's... This was, actually we could look this up on Wikipedia while we have nothing better to do than waiting. So normally I would actually do some accounting stuff or actually continue progr programming, mostly only entertaining you here live on YouTube. So Power Mac, I think the G5 were quite successful, I think, in my opinion, from what I've seen. And yeah, you get you, you can get really old ones here. You see, even no question asked, 70 actually, I'm not showing this. No question asks eBay, although this is an older one, right? This is a Mac Pro's 11, I think this is 11,2. And this is, so this is of course even older, um, like maybe dual processor, like even slower and yeah, two times 1.8 gigahertz. So even less energy efficient, slower and whatnot for such a nice, well, this is of course not only mostly unscratched and relatively pristine condition, but um, also here, yeah, you can get them relatively cheap if you want to, of course, then they are not, oh, this is funny, is this an empty case, this is hilarious. Anyway, we wanted to look this up on Wikipedia and calculate this inflation, because my point is, the new Mac is totally overpriced, at starting at six or seven thousand or whatever that is, yeah, US dollar two thousand, just as I remembered, or yeah, two thousand, so yeah, there you see even my inflation, well, I was two hundred dollars off for compensating that, adjusting that for inflation. But um, this is why I really find this too expensive, this new cheese grater. If it would be, if it would start at 3,000, maybe I would consider buying it. But at six or 7,000, it is hilarious. Uh, also wrong mouse. And this is my grief with Apple, why I'm totally not buying. Um, buying new Macs. Um, I like old Mac till yeah, something like that. I totally agree. G5s are capable of 4K, quad core ones. Yeah, if you, another live stream, we will plug in a Radeon. I will also, so on the live stream coming up next, as soon as AMD can deliver the 3,950X SKU with 16 cores and 32 threads, we will get into that because we need for all the massive open source compilation, we need more horsepower here. And I also get a 5700 Radeon sometime soon and uh, just for here really professional desktop Linux workstation in 2019 and can you really confirm that this is still running okay? 2005 including tax in Germany was 2000 for dual core. I think I paid 1800 although I, get, I got a little bit percentage. Um, that was, by the way, I brought this one just a couple of months, maybe a year before we found it, yeah, 2005. I brought this one, so this is not even on company expenses. I might maybe 
for the German government, not only do we do here everything 100% more than 100%. Fun fact, we once had a tax check of the German government, they found 23 cents a difference. And then I asked the lady, and where are this 23 cents tax difference coming from? She said she has no idea, but this is the lowest tax difference in calculating she ever experienced. And she said everything is fine. So thank you for that. But um, fun fact, this G5 is not even on company expenses, although we have it in since the founding of our company, it's, it's here in the company. So actually so much to we should actually I should have actually sold this to my company, but I, I haven't. So I like donated this to my com company. This was actually all the stupid stuff. Normally you should, of course, while we wait for this tax optimization tips, you should always like certainly sell yourself the stuff or even like whatever. Uh, back in the day, I, I had other stuff to do than optimizing our tax here. So yeah. Um, so that's not on the company, unfortunately. Really stupid from us though, but whatever. Um, yeah, so much to other people um, have other people play tricks like this. Or, well, not tricks like this, that's not even a trick. Other people have nothing better to do than optimizing the text and other people write code and get stuff done and not do this like that. So yeah, but um, actually I got, anyway, I got a little bit discount because I got this on employee discount from someone working at Apple. So um, yeah, so the invoice is actually on my brother. So, but yeah, I think I paid 1,800, which probably was some 15 percent or whatever employee discount of my brothers and um, yeah so the, the it was probably 2000 something 2000 a little bit and um, this is a fair price for a workstation tower in my opinion but the, the 6000 or 7000 starting price is not in my opinion and I don't support this right I could afford this but I rather you know what instead of I can this is so crazy if you the entry-level Mac Pro cheese grater of 2019 is a joke. The computing power is similar to... I actually have it standing here because I just reassembled it. So the computing power of the new cheese grater is the equivalent of this. This is an RX uh, nearly 580, so uh, this is a Ryzen computing node here, which with, with uh, last year's Ryzen that you always see here, uh, 2600 or what that was. Of course, we, and it's hilarious, right? So the, this costed the CPU, yeah, the total cost of this build, maybe 1,500 euro. And the computing power is the same, right? And until they get this to market, the computing power of a Ryzen, if you really max this out with the September SKU, the 3950X, I have already the 64 gig of memory in there that I will also use with the CPU upgrade, certainly. So for 2,000 euro, um, especially then with a new graphic card, the 5700 that I will get sometime soon. Um, you have more GPU and CPU power for less than 2000 euros than the 7000 euro cheese grater skew. It's hilarious. And then if you put a little bit of options in there, like not, not a joke of RX 580 equivalent of crap GPU and more than whatever 8 core or whatever that was and so on then you easily double the price, right? Then you are at like 16,000 um, euro for some either computer, computer scientist, developer, CPU cycles or video editing stuff, multimedia production stuff. And for that price, 16,000 euro, you can buy a used electric car in Germany, right? You can buy a used BMW i3 for 16,000 euro with, with maybe not as much used from another company, 20,000 kilometers or something. 16,000 euro, I rather buy a BMW i3 uh, used for 16,000 euro than a bloody cheese grater Mac Pro. And this is also what I recommend actually my customers. And yeah, I, this is why the, they, they are totally out of mind and balance with reality in their reality distortion field there. Um, so it's need 16 gigs HPM to bandwidth. Does Radeon 7 make sense being? Does the Radeon 7 make sense being on the old GC um, uh, graphic core next? 
So Radeon 7 was, I think, the new um, the new Radeon 5700 with RDNA is probably more energy efficient. I think maybe the I think the Radeon 7 makes more sense if you're running in a Hackintosh, but I will for the most part not run in Hackintosh. So I will most likely get the newer 5700 with Radeon RDNA stuff. I think it's slightly it, maybe maybe it. it tick faster and quite a bit more energy efficient I guess let's see what do we have there and yeah I will just for the fun of it I will so we I have the RX 560D this bloody cheap well cheap is just for testing Chinese skew crap with less compute units in there in the Radeon node right now and so I get this out for just secondary test card and I will just for the fun test them in the G5 obviously with Linux um, big Indian power PC testing, but yeah. Considering, so what are the comments? We have quite some. I'm really, can you really confirm that this bloody crap is still running? It's getting a little bit long. I'm also wondering why are the fans not going up and down, scaling up and down, and RPM still a little strange to me. So yeah, um, G5's 4K probably only if you plug in a nice graphic card like uh, Radeon 7 or RDNA whatever the Navi or whatever the code name for that is. 2005 years, something like a good machine, seven, late 2000 years, it's super old. 6K for a new Mac Pro, it's bullshit here. Uh, yeah, and again, if the end, the entry level price of 3000 euro, like um, inflation adjusted for this kind of stuff, 3000 euro relatively, well, it's still a steep entry level price for normal people, but for I would prefer, of course, some something lower, like 2,000 would be reasonable for a lot of normal people and like a more expandable, upgradable Mac Mini, but 3,000 euro, okay, but 3,000 euro is already high for a lot of people and we are talking double, right, S over 6,000, it's it's hilarious. Um, I'm building an Intosh with a Ryzen 350, I can build in here, and yeah, exactly. Beats the fuck out of stock cooling air. Yeah, obviously, totally agree myself. When the level one Linux set Linux on Ryzen still needs work. I yeah, I don't know what he thinks with this, but well, I, I usually don't have a lot of problems. If well, work, I don't know what work. It certainly I it, it runs. Maybe like energy efficiency or something, but otherwise, or maybe scheduling. But I don't really care. I with my compile jobs 32 parallel make compiling open source stuff this stuff is just um, running can anyone of you confirm that this stuff is really still doing something um, what do you mean Apple discount Apple my brother was working there for some Apple authorized service provider stuff and they got some 15 or something so developers back in the day not really sure yeah but business uh, anyway Apple engaged me like basically every year Apple calls me like hello do you not want to join this Apple business account stuff and I even met some five years or so I met here at Kurfest in Berlin around the corner and listened to the business sales bullshit I think but I don't want to buy something anyway I said yeah thank you very much for your entertainment um, I will think about this um, if you are a business you get some key account manager there and maybe they give you some percent discount anyway and back in the day when we were new Apple developer they had an official program I don't know if they still do this but back in the day with the 900, $199 dollar or euro Apple developer membership stuff that I think the Apple developer connection or something of that sort and with that kind of subscription developer subscription you also got 20% discount of all stuff so you could you could buy a handful of machines a year at 20% so the Mac Pro but this was before extra code this I brought over my brother with the uh, employee discount and the Mac Pro we brought the six uh, but the Mac Pro the, that you have seen in the videos the Mac Pro of us is a company machine and that that is a 7000 euro SKU like dual processor, 8 core, do we even, hey, zero dot frames, but that, um, that is 
that was purchased with 20% developer discount, which was still 6,000 something, right? So maybe 6,200 or whatever. So 7,000 7, whatever minus 20%. And yeah, but anyway, I would, this was a mistake. Um, as fast, it, it was too expensive. I would never, you see, um, some of you were in this shortly a year or two until the, the support was stopped relatively quickly. A year or two with too much max off for you easily fall for their relative distortion crap but I would never buy this again I pay for developer thing is cool what RPMs up it goes down right no it, it stays at 100% for I don't know what reason it's I don't know what it's doing it probably hears this um, I already speaks a lot because the fans are so high but the fans are 100% since I booted into this Apple service diagnostic stuff here. It does then it, go, um, it goes down, right? If it does that, then it's good just wait 5 minutes. Well, we waited already 10 minutes, I guess, yeah, 41 minutes live. Just re um, if it's still wait for 5 minutes now, it's still the same, then just reboot, but don't forget to remove forget to remove side panel and try it like what it's gonna get much more loud but it's gonna maybe smooth when you reinstall the click part rpms no so since it's started the stuff the rpms are at 100 percent unfortunately but the fence 100 percent since i started since this Apple service diagnostic stuff started here actually um, if it does this then it's good just wait five minutes well we waited in total so it did like 10 minutes CPU 1 10 minutes CPU 2 and since then 20 minutes nothing much if it's still the same then just reboot but don't forget to remove side panel and try it like that when it what do you mean with the side panel? So I've I've done nothing with the side panel. So I ho I hope you don't tell me I need to remove the side panel. So it's not removed. Anyway, this is I'm actually a little bit considering. But sh should this? You said earlier it should print some final notice here, or but well, it said calibration passed, right? So should this mean the calibration is fully done, or? Getting a little bit boring here. I quit this now because it is too long. I Means the seam does not look too bad, I have to say. It's of course surprisingly sophisticated for an. Hmm. Can you try again to send a link? I didn't see something to uh, to approve. Don't really okay. Thanks. I don't really want to. Oh, I can't copy this. Don't really. Wait a second. Zero drop frames. Also amazing stuff. Even the stopping takes forever. I thought I run the test, but not really. The most thrill to run all the memory tests there.
Okay. As the video is a little bit shaky, is it yours or? But this is a slightly older, this is a dual processor in this video, right? Sure, the video doesn't immediately. Ah, testing. Ah, stop. Um, so it's still running. Let's see if we can. Yeah, so maybe let's deselect all the memory tests. Does it even. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it's not the most super sophisticated, so you can't like range select here on the UI. Maybe another day, so what, because I always like to read sources and stuff, what we could do is take a look in the Linux driver, but the stream is getting a little bit too long already. So this are all the tests, the fan stuff here, temperature sensor, and um, run the tests, testing MLB address, data on memory, so I, r I think I run yeah, 50 out of 90 tests, um, all the de deselected the memory tests. Um, so the difference only counts for the model, but it's basically the same. As you can see here, move the side panel, try like that, I guess. Hmm. Okay, um, I would probably, um, thanks for your su suggestions. I would probably, um, the MLB was not even addressed as data. This is data test on memory, smaller than testing MLB memory using. I would probably try to see some tests. I hope this first MLB test doesn't run too long. And then I will call it a day and hope that if I reboot the fans do not hyperventilate. Maybe in the Linux actually while this is running so long anyway, I could open the wind farm driver because it probably should you know what this this beetle here looks looks sick though I have to say shameless not a paid promotion for Volkswagen though totally pissed that they cheated with their diesel gate unnecessary bloody cheating crap anyway um, let's open here the Linux kernel github talk oops no git Four volts. I also really have some other stuff to do. Always when you just quickly want to calibrate something and then it doesn't finish. So yeah, SMC, not really do we have hey, zero lap frames, also amazing stuff. Drivers, let's see where the, why is the kernel not loading? Is the kernel down or hmm, block FIFA loads? Uh, let's see our data center loads. <coughs> hmm. Kernel arc down or oh no, this loads. Anyway, then browse. No, no, it works, whatever. What's up with it? Also, zero drop frames, still amazing. So you can see here, remove this. Yeah, I, but there is not much commentary, so I don't know if um, if the removal is necessary or I, I would think the removal more tr triggers more 100% RPM. It, anyway, let's see what the tests are saying there it's doing something which is FPU testing something current new point perform single whatever let's that is why I also do this videos also many of the videos you have seen it was it is shaky and without not much commentary also when we do it the same then of course oops Not sure if this wind farm is in HW Mon or in Hello can we also load some of this is slow for whatever reason. Hmm. 
No speed test gives me something here. Let's see, did this result in some drop frames or... No, zero drop frames, whatever. No, the wind farm is not there, then let's see if it's in Arch. Oh, yeah, also the Linux kernel sorting each time you're looking for something. Slash dot slow, or only some sites slow. Hmm, maybe GitHub is slow right now, on, uh, not GitHub, but... USB F to continue confusing naming scheme with USB 4 Gen 3 X2. Kidding me. Let's see, maybe the wind farm stuff is... Um, what are you using the window... to window the G5? I'm using the crappy Epifan from my... you find in my previous videos, but I can't recommend this. It's... Um, Binary only commercial, like, yeah, commercial is a problem. I got it used from eBay though, um, but it has a Linux binary only driver that is a piece of garbage. But EPFAN use DVL to USB uh, 3.0, but it's by the way also gotten mighty hot. So, but thanks for asking. Necessary because it needs to calibrate, it's necessary because it needs to calibrate things freely. That's why. Can be bitchy about these things. It's much more harder to tinker with them compared to a new world or PC Max. Mm. Yeah, let's maybe we try this right now. We run here some tests that hopefully turn on. Hmm. Anyway, let's see the so power PC. Where am I here? Even power PC. Where would it be? Platform. Maybe I should go to the top level and somehow kernel up is slow. By the way, another fun fact: um, what I re really what you see, a lot of stuff, you, um, especially the live stream. It was surprisingly long, right? If you watched the three D low level stuff for the Lynx Silicon Motion uh, Lynx 3D and we could also so not only do we have the G4 to fix the reason I don't work here day and night to fix all the open source stuff because nobody pays for this right if you like this kind of stuff of course this is here everyone could do this just that not so many people have like really captured this more professionally but if you like stuff like this we also would have the Linux like the G5 is like fully supported on Linux, like re like really maybe not suspend, not really sure about suspend to memory, but everything else um, except audio input. So this is also another ALSA driver, not also uh, well, uh, um, digital audio input, regular analog works, I think so. But yeah, does someone need this? Like nearly nobody except me needed this in the last 15 years or so. So yeah, let's search for wind farm and see. Yeah, testing could take some time here. Hmm. Hopefully get it working. It'd be interesting in this mod 2. Found the G5 on the garage five years ago. And hey, now the fan is going down. At least here with this self-test stuff. But yeah, anyway, if a wind farm can be, where would this driver be in? No, this is so slow, let's Google Linux kernel power PC wind farm when this GitHub web stuff is so slow. Now the fan is going up again. By the way, check Luigi channel installed HD on a PCI quad. 
since 11 years. Um, the only thing is, of course, with this modern, well, this modern graphic cards will just work the question, uh, well, only not in PowerPC, Mac OS, of course, because you don't have a driver. And um, on Linux, everything will just work, so you either don't have boot graphic, of course, but I would probably leave the fanless card in there. So where, so Macintosh, ah, driver Macintosh, of course it's driver Macintosh. Yeah, gateway time out, so this um, Linux kernel lock is under load, I guess. Drivers, in my opinion, this driver, some drivers here, some drivers there. For Linux, go with, uh, go with this way. For purpose Mac OS, you best bet is GTX. Yeah, I actually, I have a faster GTX in, maybe I have whatever, but some GTX I have in there, in uh, well, my archive box, but I don't like the GTX. I, I ordered it on eBay in the US, um, whatever that was, you can check the previous video. In some other video of mine it is visible and it has active fans, I don't like this, it's annoying and this is why I plugged in a 6600 card for the more quiet operation there. And um, you're testing not too far, so you spend quite some time there. I see already some counter, 50 out of 90 for one loop, 10 minutes, loop count, test passed. Current is it's only at least now the tests are faster. It's um, anyway, but doesn't really hurt too much. It could just certainly try to keep you all the zero drop frames, amazing stuff. Yeah, Christian, the space heater is uh, good that it's no cooler. Here are quite some wind farms for whatever power Mac year 11, so 12. Ah, oh, there's there was a 12,1. Or is this a quad? These machines heat up the room up to 10 degrees. Yeah, that's good for the German winter. That is why I also didn't, I could have run this. Hey, the tests are passing. Um, I could have run this yesterday, but it was 33 degrees centigrade Celsius here in Berlin. And I thought I better not run, but it, it was barely possible to sit in the office. Hey, pass. Um, that probably means all tests passed, right? Otherwise, if some tests would have failed, I guess it would have said so. Oh, wrong mouse, obviously. So at least the tests passed. Maybe I click on restart and see how this is going. It's so, but you saw this all scrolling by, doesn't? It's pointless. It's a little bit annoying that this is so slow. Uh, no, it's so small here, they have so much space, and yet... Hmm. Yeah, so we start, I guess. You see how much quieter it is instantly. And... At least... So far do I... Press, I think I press the right button. At least the fans do not go 200%. This is this noise is only the CD-ROM, not the fans. Ah, damn it! I can't use this boot chooser actually because I have here some special Grub2 installation hack. So if I choose that here. But anyway, at least the fans do not go 200%. Yeah, here it's already that gateway again, so... I don't know if Linux kernel org is under DOS or whatever. Yeah, I would guess if the calibration curve stuff is totally messed up, it would not... Um, it would not go 200% or whatever, so...
You really... You really want me to do that, huh? Okay, fine. As the audience requests it, I should have had it here the other way on the table, because then you could have looked inside that. So you are saying removing the acrylic, right? Okay, the only thing is if this messes up. But why should this? This is it may, doesn't make sense to me in my opinion. Because no, I probably will not do this, to be honest. This is interesting. There is there are lights going on. I just realized this. There are lights in the side that go on as soon as yeah, some warning error lights apparently. When you take this out, um, because I have some other stuff to do, and otherwise the live stream gets stressed. I don't want to run this low no, like three times. But um, I have the feeling that Linux will not use the calibrated data there anyway and do it manually. And I also don't... Yeah, well, anyway. Because if I, if I mess this up now, because I would think removing this acrylic makes no sense because I think it should calibrate with the airflow as it should be and not the airflow irrit irritated by um, G5 is sensitive focus, so they need that for airways just go into Mac first and test it. Yeah, so actually one thing is um, Mac was slightly strange um, to be honest. Um, which Mac OS did I boot? So I have it here two times. I don't know which is which now. We could try and boot this. So to be honest, when I booted Mac OS, it was slow for some reason. I don't know why, although I had another keyboard in there the other day. So not sure if it was slow due to some USB irritation or the new CPU. So, but I, or if it's, but I don't think it was a borked installation. But maybe this is not running faster, maybe, yeah, before it was totally slow, maybe the USB stuff was irritated with a mechanical keyboard or something of that sort. Do I have something illegal on it? Not that we... No, only a lot of old exact scan from testing. Fun stuff like that. And in German. I think it is faster be before it was completely slow. Like unusable slow. And yeah, not making this up dual two and a half gigahertz, so didn't fake that. Although normally I don't have my mix in. Actually, now you have the serial number anyway, it's old crap. Um, yeah, at least that looks okay-ish. Let's reboot. I need it in restart. Usually I don't quite, don't quite understand why I have it in German, so usually I have my stuff in English. Maybe someone changed it in testing for whatever reason, something of that sort. Um, well, the fans were okay before, so I can't be sure that it did something usable. I only wanted to check it anyway. And yeah, whatever. I think Linux is probably... Um, Linux is probably not using this anyway. Let's see if we can... Uh, this still didn't load. Can't make this up. Only live on YouTube is git kernel or totally slow or whatever they do, there's no idea. Yeah, I can't um, use this boot chooser because I have some special grub testing. Oops, yeah, exactly that. And if I, because I have uh, some special open firmware, ah, uh, wrong, too many keyboards here. For this crop testing, I still need to make this more amazing, but that's what it is for now. 
but um, yeah, probably not really sure if actually I think I committed something in in Linux though, um, in T2 Linux. Hey, no, maybe the driver loaded there. Yeah, now I will have to do some um, stuff. I wonder if I have here an X server or not. No, so much to that. We could actually make live stream if you are totally up to chatting. We could do. I have a. Maybe I don't even. ETH one. Is, uh, hello. Can you come back with an cable? But actually, I want it under the table. Don't really want it. I only put it obviously on the table for the use. Ah, nearly thrown the water on the from the table. That would have been a fail. Yeah, we could on the totally more live stream. We could actually maybe I just do it just for the fun of it. If you're up to chatting. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, at least how the Apple service diagnostic stuff from good old back in the days look and um, how to theoretically maybe it calibrates a fence. We will actually for last check here, check here on, um, on GitHub, on not good GitHub kernel, git stuff. If the Linux driver, no, timed out, yeah, damn, can't mix this up. Can't even live check here that. It's hilarious. Web stuff in 2019. It says 10, but it can't take up to an hour. Okay, or is it whatever? Well, the thing is, with this acrylic, it, for me, it makes no sense to calibrate this without this acrylic removed. But if you have any more insight, leave it in the comments below. For the reason that the acrylic stuff, of course, um, even with the side panel removed, the acrylic stuff there. St uh, by the way, this is, of course, really strange, right? This acrylic stuff, it, it's only for the looks, um, for the most part, because it's not doing too much if what do I even show showing it's it's also hilarious that this is uh, stable, stable get, mm, really pity that this doesn't load it's hilarious um, because it's uh, in my opinion this acrylic stuff there is mostly that you can remove the side panel for demonstration and still can look into the machine and the airflow is still guided and not going all over the place and because uh, even the small indentation, maybe the small indentation in there uh, is doing just a little bit for airflow over, I don't know, the memory sockets or something of that sort. But it's, of course, hilarious, right? So, and this is why removing this, of course, is disturbs the airflow even more. So I'm not really sure if it makes so much sense to calibrate without that, but whatever. Um, what do we have there? Since open firmware was... Um, no, not, not necessarily Linux. So this is why when... Um, this is why without this wind farm driver, the fence go to 100%. And when, if the open firmware would do the f f uh, thermal fan control stuff like in other machines before and after and whatnot, then you wouldn't need the Linux kernel driver doing something. So hey, we finally loaded something amazing stuff. And um, yeah, so here are the model IDs. What is other, the algorithm used for a B-control algorithm is the same as published Darwin code using the same values that are present in Darwin A10 snapshot. Okay, so they maybe they have taken this from um, the Darwin actually so much to re not reverse engineering this, the two models using eyesight and so on, control degrees, whatever. Or to have the most efficient Correction with those must trigger uh, HT loop before Odoo loop before CPU loop. PhD history to entries. Mm. Yeah, so this is what the C code looks like, not really sure if it's the most amazing. Yeah, anyway, 
not really sure about this here. You no, know, you only clear the over temp condition. If over temp is cleared, no other failure present. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Am I wrong? Sending loading from address pointer. What? Am I wrong understanding it as loading from address pointed by register plus offset? Offset? LV said you are. Uh, hmm. Need to think about this. And I have other stuff to do. Um, yeah, okay, so much to that. Um, maybe it did something, maybe not. This is how it looks. And I uh, hope you learned something. And um, theoretically, you could watch what we maybe theoretically anyway. If you're up to chatting some live stuff, you, we could theoretically, but does it make sense? Mm. Yeah, problem is that this is relatively fresh. Actually, I wanted to get some stuff done, so hmm, not really sure. Maybe, maybe not. We go live on the other channel. If you want more random live stuff, then the other more live channel there on the recommended channel list. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed calibrating the fence. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if you have more insight in whether you need to remove this bloody acrylic stuff or not, leave me a comment there. And otherwise, yeah, maybe I redo it. Maybe I Google it shortly. As usual, well, Apple also could have printed this there, right? They could have made their note, but well, if there is no note, I would, well, anyway, I would, for a triple A company, print out there, remove the acrylic stuff or not. But as there was one thing, I would not really expect it has to be removed for whatever. Maybe I Google this shortly, do it again. And uh, otherwise, maybe we go more live. Um, maybe not. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and stay tuned for all the new stuff and videos and live streams.